Hello everybody! Uh, hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. Welcome back to King's Quest Chapter 3. I'm so excited. Uh, thanks for joining me again from last time. Um, I figure I owe you guys at least a little bit of an explanation of where I've been for the last... Oh god, what? Two months, I guess? Well, we have relocated from New York to Los Angeles. That's right, we're living on the West Coast now. That was a really big transition, so I appreciate you guys hanging in there. We had to move... Everything. Well, not even everything. We're like half of the stuff we own is still sitting in the Bronx. Well, not sitting in, but in a uh, what a storage facility thing. We had to get two rooms. It's a big long story. Whatever. So I drove cross country in about what three and a half days. I went from New York to Chicago, Chicago to uh, what it was it Colorado? I think somewhere Colorado to Utah, and then Utah to L.A. So that was yeah three and a half days. I was really proud of myself for my car full of stuff. Wife and baby flew over. We're all kind of chilling out here, a little bit south of LA. Hang out with my new job. Freelancing continues, uh, working a little bit with uh, some podcasting work. Things are great, except uh, we still are in our lease at our New York apartment. So if anybody wants to rent a really nice two bedroom apartment in Astoria, let me know because we're still paying for it. <laughs> that sucks. Anyway. You guys don't want to hear that. Well, maybe you do. But anyway, we're here for King's Quest Chapter 3. So last time we are, let's see, we started with a bunch of little mini quests that brought us up to here. And now we're basically replaying the ending events of King's Quest 2. We've gone through everything. We've climbed the tower. And apparently what happened in King's Quest 2 was kind of an embellishment of the truth. You didn't climb the tower and it wasn't just Valenice there. And it's like, hey, let's get married. Uh, there's kind of two people up here now. There's two people, and there he's just saying, well, you know, that's the way it actually was, but, uh, you know, the story that we're telling everybody was kind of simplified, wasn't really the truth. This is what really happened when I got up there. So we don't know one of these, which one of these girls is actually canon Valenice yet. So we have the serious one and the fun-loving one. Uh, they both have refused to marry me right off the bat, because rightfully so, because Graham is kind of a doof, though kind of a buff doof at the Mo. It really seems like Pink Valenice is Canon Valenice, but I still think maintain that gr uh, that uh, Green Valenice will be uh, a better queen. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that just yet. We still have all the pictures for whatever reason, and then we picked up a, a take-home version of the Battle of Wits for whatever reason. I'm not sure what we have to do yet, so I'm going to talk to people, but first, explore, take whatever's not nailed down, is the King Swayze way. An unfinished masterpiece. No idea where this belongs. That's, uh, it looks like half an avocado, and I took it. It is now mine. All right. Just cleaning up, I Advanced suppose. Advanced crosswords, riddles, and puzzles. The whole book was solved already. I wonder who it belonged to. Hmm. That seems to be probably raven-haired Valenice potentiality. Shame. It looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. Uh, oh, okay, so maybe that's a do-good thing I can do. All right, can I put the painting back on here? It does not appear so. Nothing else I can see over here. Another book. The sparkly purple book had a winged pegasus on its cover. Perhaps one of the princesses would know where it went. Mm-hmm, we know exactly who that belongs to. Though, I don't know, I'm generalizing I might be wrong. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes. And I didn't see any chocolate chips. It's really weird with Lloyd's delivery of some of these lines. I, I I don't know if it's just he's getting old or if that's the way he normally is. It just seems kind of weird to me. Not bad, just weird. <laughs> it was cold at the top of that tower. Then again, he is playing a character that's even older than he is now, so I'll give him a break. Oh yeah, I want to go check out the, the balcony. Or is it terrace? Is this a balcony or a terrace? Help me out. All right, so I can't reach that vase, and apparently that's really important. That's the linchpin of this whole thing. And uh, squirrely squirrel. Hmm? Seems very willing to help. Oh, okay, so I'm saying, hey, would you go get that for me? And she's like, no, no, I won't. Uh, oh, is this a corkscrew? I can interact with something. This puzzle box busted in the fall and could use some fixing. Hmm. Apparently this happens a lot, though, and that is going to be the cleanest shelf in all of Davin, well, all of Kalima. 
I suppose. Uh, I don't have any tools for fixing yet, though I do have a canvas, I have books, and that's about it. Uh, nothing, nothing, uh, don't read in anything, no, mm-hmm. All right, well, that's pretty much all I can do, so now we can finally start talking. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with the raven-haired one, though I still think purpley is, uh, is probably the eventual winner. Hey there. Sorry about earlier. Things got a little... weird. Hmm. Apology accepted. I'm Graham, by the way. As in King Graham of Daventry. As in King Graham the... Wise. Okay, let's, let's play up our intelligence with this one. Wise. The wise? Hmm. Nice to meet you, Graham. I'm V, as in Princess V of Eastern Kalima. V. Is All V right. short for something? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> but I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> Until it's become canon. Yep. Yep. So, um, I should also apologize for forgetting my adventuring rope. I guess nothing was planned in my proposal. Adventuring rope? Oh, that was a bit of a lark. Rope wouldn't matter much anyway. Uh, it, it wouldn't? <laughs> Don't you think if there was any way of escaping, we would have done it by now? What are you doing with your hands? No, we're all bound to this tower by some outdated wizard spell. You know, one that needs some antiquated ideal of love to break it. I see. I knew from reading Courting Queens to Hold Court the importance of a good first impression. I would have to choose my next words carefully. So... Ah, you come here often? Hmm. Okay. Where are you originally from? Do you come here often? Okay. So she is sort of the outdated version of love, blah, 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 blah. So, none of this getting to know you stuff. She doesn't really seem to want to share a lot about her personal life uh, too deeply. But if we go down the intellectual route, she seemed very impressed that I called myself King Graham the Wise. So I'm going to go for school. What did you study in school? Literature and archery. But I spent most of my time on the field playing snoot polo. Snoop. I was on scholarship and still hold all of the records. At least I hope I do. Oh, it's been a while since I've been able to check. Where did you study? I went to night school up north and majored in all things adventure. And minored in creative costuming. Another question, if you'd humor me. I want to know how you got up here. Uh... The Shining Star... Do you worship the Shining Stars or the Corn Grass? Is that a reference to something? Eastern Western Columbia politics? What's your family like? Who do you admire most? Hmm. Uh, I, I'm mostly curious about how they got up here in the first place, but politics, that seems like I'm really fishing. Too personal. Uh, family. What's your family like? Sibling challenged, but happily an only child. My dad and I are very close. He taught me everything I know, and was never afraid to take some time off the throne to play a game of wits or strategy ship with me. What about you? What's your family like? My sisters and I are animal people. We've got two pet jinxes, a circus of weevils, werehogs, and a miniature chimera. No, no. Um, let's learn more about the other Valenies, just in case. Who would you say is your best friend? Why niece, of course. We've been best mates since birth, even though our kingdom frowns on it. What about yours? Triumph? Um, Sir Triumph the Third. He's a person. He counts as a real human friend. That was actually a bit fun. Thanks. We still have work to do, though, so back at it. Yep, that one dresser drawer is not going to clean itself. All right, other potential Valenice. Let's learn about you as I stand suggestively behind you. Hello. I thought perhaps I could introduce myself properly. And your name is? Uh, my name? Uh, of course. I'm King Graham of Daventry. King Graham the... Wise cacking jolly! Uh, brave, compassionate. Um, she's a little bit of a wild girl, so I think brave would be the best way. Brave? Hmm. Brave, huh? Pleasure to meet you, Graham. I'm known as Niece. Oh, she is Niece. As in, Princess Niece of Western 
Kalima. Got it. So there's V so, and Nice. So again, options are very open. I saw this tower on the edge of my kingdom, and a little old lady told me there was a majestic unicorn at the top. I leapt at the chance for adventure. My siblings are never going to let me live this one down. Oh, I hope they don't have to clean my room. I have too many important art projects that need finishing. All right. So, what about you? What brings you here? <laughs> that look on his face. Um, all right. So it seems like I'm going to have to pick all these things and decide who they belong to. So I, it lets them know that I've been listening to them and I, I know enough about them to know who belongs, to, what belongs to who. Uh, like my wife up here. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. I was also looking for majestic unicorns. Are there any? Up here? There was a goat with a glued on horn named Mr. Mr. Fancy, Fancy Cakes. Cakes. What? How did you know Mr. <gasps> Fancy Cakes? Cakes? One does not simply meet Mr. Fancy Cakes. One is awed by Mr. Fancy Cakes. Tell me about it. Not sure where he ran off to. Oh, we never are. Nice chatting, but we really should get back to cleaning. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why she didn't want to hear half as much as, uh, as the other girl. Maybe I answered incorrectly. She doesn't seem like really, I don't know. Maybe she's not the romantic type. Interesting. Okay. So that means I'm, I'm going to try giving things to people who I know they belong to. So the art is definitely hers. I'll finish it someday. Until then, it goes over there. Oh, on the obvious easel that it wasn't allowing me to put it on before? <laughs> oh, now I get it. Jerks. Appreciate it. That's a great avocado, by the way. Or is that not an avocado? Maybe it's like, like a uh, like the a half of a planet, you know. And that's the uh, the molten core is the seed, and maybe the seed is representative of. I'm giving her way too much credit. All right. So also as a side quest, I need to either fix this puzzle, and or fix this loot, and that will get one of them on side. Okay, so let's give her the rest of what belongs to her. Definitely the unicorn book. The hidden magical world. Each page brings me more joy than the last. Can you put that over there? Uh, next to the purple thing. Got it. All right, so that's her shelf. No problem. That is yours. Very nice. Yes, just lay right there on its side. Oh. Uh, bongos. Okay, random earthquake dis dislodged bongos from some corner. Okay. Bongos. Perhaps they go with the kitchenware. Uh, why? Can you cook things in bongos? Is that a thing? That seems a bit too fantastical for me. All right, uh, V. V, here you go. Um, this is yours. My dad and I used to play this game for hours. It goes on that shelf. Appreciate it. There we go. You probably, with a, a tower that is prone to earthquakes and is, uh, in fact, constantly moving, you probably shouldn't be perching stuff up on shelves, because I don't think it's really going to stay there that long. I read that at least three times a year. Could you put it back over there? Ooh, she's got a skull on her shelf. Instant points. All right, here you go. Logic puzzle, logic and skulls. Hmm, this girl really reminds me of somebody I know. Appreciate it. Oh, come now. It's, but bone nunchucks? Are you joking me? That's amazing. Some sort of nunchuck made of bone. At least it was a self-sustainable business model. All right, well, I'm definitely pegging that on, oh. No, maybe no. I thought it was like whimsical enough to be hers, but Bone definitely belongs to V. That's you. How did it get up under the table in the first place? Eh, what can I say? As an only child, I was in constant need to keep myself entertained. There you go. Pop in there. Got it. Are you going to put it inside it or just like on it like you'd like to do? Bone chucks. Appreciate it. Oh, a halberd. Holy crap. Okay, I can take it. That's great. Fantastic. I have a huge-ass weapon at my disposal. My bomb 
goes. Obi says these are nothing but treble. Can you put them back over there? Hmm, on the, in the drawer. Okay, oh wow, that is a really interesting uh, collection of drawers. Sideways drawers and topway drawers. This is like an Ikea sale. Thank you. An acorn, I want that. Can I have it? Awesome. Just don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. All right, I have a spear and an acorn. I think I've actually accomplished pretty much everything. Just another little, oh, I got a spear. Maybe I can use the spear to get through this uh, thing. Oh, or wait, or I can use the more compassionate approach and give it and bribe this uh, little doodad with the acorn. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did I actually give her the acorn? Now I feel bad. Wow, impressive. Excellent work, Cram. <laughs> oh, all right. So I've pissed off V twice already. So it actually. It's Hagatha. Oh. Oh, Hagatha does come up here. Oh God. Oh, I can't control this. I just okay. Got it. <sighs> can't stand that soggy woman. Won't even speak to her. It's interesting. Even though my brain is telling me to go uh, with V, uh, Nice is basically winning for my own actions. So I think my heart is coming out in my actions. All right. I'm interested in uh, Hagatha. She's been a villain in a lot of games. Oh, my. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Chip Chop up here. Oh, how are my delicate little flowers? You're amazing. We are splendid, Hagatha. Thank you. Why are we being held captive up here again? Uh, looks like you lovelies missed a spot. Uh oh. I gotta get out of here. Have some knees, Uncle What was that? D uh, nothing. Uh, That's right, dearie. We cop in this cupboard. Should keep her thoughts on oh, the shit. No, get it, get it, get the creep, get the creep out. Uh, okay. Oh uh, crap. Nothing. Nothing. There's that is absolutely. It's a flag. It's a rug. There's a rug that we put in the cabinet because it got dirty. Out of place. Oh, girls, I need your help. Girls, make a distraction. Make a distraction. Help. Oh, no. That's really fragile. Um, aftershock? Uh. Oh, sweetie. We'll need Where to am I continue going? working on your awkward bungling. Where am I going? <laughs> Looks like my god. To be weeded. Where was I supposed to go? Zards, this part went so smoothly the last time I. Can't believe I'm Whatever hiding behind say. a giant avocado. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Yeah, I know I'm not there. Looks like another princess is showing up, but Hey, just because I wear a long princess? cape. Long flowing gown. Yes. No question about how he or she got up here. Wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see one. Welcome to my tower. I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. Oh, <laughs> Good one. <laughs> um, let's suck up to her. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, what a sweet little princess. Need to work on your grace, though. Grace now comes come. before dinner. It's time to eat. Oh, which is now. After dinner, Hagatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Nice picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive. 
but begrudgingly went along with it. All right. The first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly, or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Hmm. Which do you choose? Okay, um, I, I like the little quiz, but I'm kind of curious about where this is going. Is this also sort of putting one of the two girls on my side? I don't know. All right, so one life that'll last a thousand it. years. Easy part. Oh, shush. I'm making my mind up. You can live your life that what lasts a thousand years. That sounds kind of miserable. Or you can live ten lives that last a hundred years. Yeah, B makes way more sense. Do I would still totally need more time? do B. Shush. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Um, no, I mean A, I mean a little bit of compassion is necessary, I think. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? No, I have like a pet dragon. dragon. with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Yes, and I like you all the more for it. Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Uh, Dragons have tails, so tail. Um, yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, not, no other physical handicap, but not being able to pick up anything? Uh, yeah, give me the tail. Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup. Syrup is actually I a very actually good like smell. Syrup. Yes, thank you very much, Gwendolyn. You know it. First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. Oh, we'll it's another one of those getting to know you from things. the card at the top of our decks. If both Oscar and Oski answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you getting all this? Oh, Mirror, which one is it? Is it me? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? <laughs> Ram, you start. Okay, all right, let's do A this. A magical genie offers mm. you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Uh, oh, so am I choosing who I want to answer it? All right, so who has a better chance? I think sh she would be easier to guess. Hmm, let's see here. A. I don't agree. Think of all the lives you could lead with 10 chances. Explore. Oh, I see artist, how it works. Pirate. Vampire. Or a ninja. Or a zombie. Graham. I get it. Okay, I see what's going on. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you... A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so I have to answer, It's it wants me to answer the way I think that she would answer. However, I am going to go with my heart on all of these, and that will make up my mind which of the two Val or nieces uh, we go with. Alright, so convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or turn your head the other way. I would convince him to be honest, is what I would do. Hey, I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Nice. I chose A too. The orphan learned a valuable lesson and would probably be rewarded for their honesty too. All right, that's one link to V. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day and only managed to catch a small goose. 
on your I'm way a back really home. Bad a hunter. hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. My answer he is already made up. Himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you a kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner, or b? Let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard. Um, yeah, that's that's so easy. It's I can go out anytime and catch myself another goose. Not a big deal, unless I'm that bad of a hunter or there are no more just gooses left. Geese? Goose. Gooses. Let the beggar eat the goose. Yeah, beans all the way. B? I mean, magic beans. Yep. Magic beans. Magic beans. Magic beans. Holla. You right. are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Okay, so I know if I pick niece, I know exactly she's going to pick B and she's going to pick A. Um... But it doesn't really matter. How come they're not playing with each other here? It's all from me. I guess I'm kind of the, the wild card here. Uh, well, I picked her last time. I'm kind of curious what, what she will answer. I pick A. Yes. I agree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed. But I couldn't imprison a friend. Niece? It says, You are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A, heal the knight first, or B, heal the thief first? I picked A. The honorable knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. I would honor my medical oath to serve those in need first. Hmm. They don't seem too compatible. That's a shame. They are like polar Me. opposites. Oh. This is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king, That's B. sends for your hand in marriage. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Oh, she's going, she'll be all the way. Is any other answer than B? Uh. Of course, I chose the same. D wait, there's no C. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon. All right. Um, I mean, I could end this right now because I know exactly what she. No, yeah, she would want a pet dragon. She would want to be a dragon. But now it's like, oh, because that'll win for her. But honestly, I'm still kind of pulling for her. A, definitely A. Yep, I could use a pet dragon. Oh. Our moat monster is looking to retire. I would have thought she Grabbed. wanted to be a dragon. Your poor How interesting. and a thief pickpockets your I picked only it wrong. coin, forcing you to go hungry for the night. A few days later, you see the same thief get robbed of his dinner by two bandits. You chase after the bandits and get back the stolen food. Do you A, return the food to the thief, or B, keep the food, teaching the thief a lesson? Oh, gosh. I mean, honestly, this is what I would do. To be perfectly frank, I I would answer B. I'm sorry. I, I she'll probably agree with this, but I'm answer B. I'd eat the food. You said I was poor and hungry, right? That thief will be fine for one night without dinner. Hopefully, he won't steal again. Same here. Hey, we win. Turns it out me and V are more compatible. Game, but in the end, I won with V. Good thing too. She seemed like she didn't like to lose. Nice was satisfied with her pick of the game. I'm I'm surprised. I always I could I figured that uh, that Nice would have uh, would have would have won with me. To play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin, and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. Ooh, eavesdropping. So, what do you think of King Graham the Wise? Funny, he told me he was King Graham the Brave. I knew he was bluffing. Oh, damn it. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. 
Alright. I thought I already explored pretty well, but... Uh... Oh, wait, something I can look at here. This puzzle box. Bust. Yeah, yeah, we know the broken puzzle box. No big deal. Um, the stairs... Oh, did the stairs rotate so I can't walk up them while they're up there? Wow, that's a really, uh... Kind of overblown chastity method. Seeing as there's only girls up here anyway, it seems kind of... Alright, well, whatever. Alright, there's the loot. There's the painting. There's not much else to explore, Graham. Unless you can explore this thing in the middle. Oh, I can! I didn't know I could do this. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come and rescue her. Alright, so I'm not supposed to be down here. Uh, oh, who's that? Oh, I do miss her. Is that just Rapunzel? The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to oh, a happy Oh no! End. Was that Hagatha? She was a princess who never got rescued. Oh my god, that's so sad! That's so sad. The enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait of whatever stood in front of it. Oh my lord! That makes her like the most sympathetic character in the world, but what is she doing holding all these princesses up here? Unless she's trying to vicariously live through them, like she holds the princess up here and ho and like ensuring that they be rescued and therefore kind of having the 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 fairy tale romance that she never had. I don't know, just spitballing here. The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. Oh. Well, never mind. I see what's happening. Uh, oh, I can interact with this. Uh, but I don't know what I should be doing. It's probably like a combination lock or something. That seemed to be missing a piece. All right, so I need a clock hand. Got it. Yay, puzzles! Years of appearance-changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired. Turning the princess into a soggy hag with a flappy tail. But uh. the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail and and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Hagatha took it too far. There was no coming back. Hmm. I bet you there's a solution. Uh, what? This is the weirdest earthquakes ever. All right, I guess this is where he's going to stay. Where's your face? Or is that your face? Is the door your face? Where am I? Hello? Is she going to be upset that I'm not up there? Oh, well, well now the place is mine. Uh, well, this seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> Cool. All right, I'll go down there in a sec. I'm gonna find that missing piece, but there doesn't seem to be much else up here. So can I sniff her bed? No, that's gross. Interesting. <laughs> this whole place does seem kind of clock themed. Looks like there's a giant clock down there. There's a clock face on the tower, and hmm, what kind of ritual is this? Hagatha never left the tower, so she would send the princesses on her errands. They would fetch this ingredient or that trinket. She used a special enchantment to poof them out of the tower and after some time poof them back in. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. I'm glad you said it, Gwendolyn. Mm, all right, the feather is the linchpin. Got it. Interesting. All right, so now it's just me and Hagatha in the tower. But now I know the way out. And now it's the next day, apparently, and the hut of brown 
Are you gonna sit down? Or are you just gonna, okay, we're on the move. I think it's mechanical. Okay, it's mechanical. It's not actually alive. It's clockwork. I get it. All right, now it's time to fix the things. Got it. I would hold off on flashing that ring again. Yeah, let's put not that away. Not gonna make that mistake twice. All right, yep, yeah, and now the stairs are back. Well, let's help out. Let's start with uh, V, since we seem to be really good buddies now. Uh, how's it going? My favorite puzzle box is broken. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. She's fine. You got it. Uh, how's it going? My favorite... All right, we got that. Now, let's see how she's doing with her loot. Hey there. What's shaking? I cracked my loot, and I don't have the right tool to fix it. Want me to try to fix it? Do you have the tool I need? Uh, nope. Then I'll take care of it. Bam. I'm stuck. I needed advice. Too bad I couldn't just dart over to the town square. Or could I? Ah, all right. But now where's Hagatha then? All right, well, whatever. Down we go. Look triumphant, Graham. Thank you. All right. Well, she just sleeps pretty much all day. All right. Well, that's good for me. All right. What else can I do down here? Is there anything else? Trunks and luggage. No. All right. There's... Oh, it, ooh, it's a, like a clock pond. Cool. Anything else down here I can play with? No. 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 What's up here? Oh, is this the door that was boarded up on the other side? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, yep, yeah, we got it. Figured it out. All right, well, I guess the clock portal is all we can do, so let's go. This sorcery was very finicky. It would teleport you away from the tower, but only for a limited time. And you needed something from the place you wanted to go ah, to. Ah, so that explains the portraits. Got it. Okay, so we can either go see Bramble, and uh, for, we can go the compassion route, the intelligence route, or the strength route. Um, seeing that I'm kind of going with, with V at the moment, I should be picking Amaya, and she'd give me the uh, instructions to help pick... No, no, if I'm going to fix the puzzle box, I need to go with Chester. If I want to fix the loot, I probably want to go see Bramble. So let's... I, I, I love Chester. Chester's always my go-to. Let's go, Chester. Whoop. Well, look at that. Free. Why am I only on a slow stroll? Ah, oh, the old tournament board. Oh, they're just doing free samples. I don't know oh. why I need this, but that's never stopped me before. Oh, maybe I can take myself to where Manny is. Awesome. Oh, the old tournament board. Cool. I wonder if I can actually explore the... No, let's not risk it. Let's do what I came here for. I don't want to waste time. All right. Let's go up and see how Chester's doing. Oh, I miss Chester. Upsy upsies. Come on. There you go. Oh. Oh, this is his knitting shop now. Acorn? Hey, little buddy. Ooh, or should I say big buddy? Wow, that neck. Have you been gargling peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for noticing. And looks like the shop's been through some changes too. What happened? Well, I saved up all my earnings from my night jobs, which I have you to thank for. And I rebranded this place. We still got the crafts, just not the witch or the wizard in type. Can I interest you in some macaroni art? Yes. I'm just window shopping, actually. Hey, do you know where the hobble pots went? I really could use their wisdom. Oh, they packed up and retired. Somewhere by the beach, I think. End of an era. I want that frog up there, it? by the way. Is that for sale? I can't, actually. Oh, um, congratulations on your new store, Acorn. Sorry, time is moving way too fast. I'm just. Is shocked. that a uh, we can believe picture back there with his uh, with uh, with Ad Adeline? Madeline was the name of his squirrel. I want that poster. On love, it's a long story, and I'll explain later. But I may have met someone, or someone's. How do I know if she is the one? Oh, love, huh? Yeah. I got this. I know about love. <laughs> Out with it. Love is all about 
belly rubs, um, long walks through the forest, and staying warm. If you're looking through his mask, it looks like there's a star field back there. Oh no, I have a dusty monitor. Nuts. You're just reciting tips from that guide on how to take care of squirrels, aren't you? Of course not! Um... Proper grooming will ensure... I can see your finger following along the page. All right, fine, I was. And I'm not sorry. You know, if I could knit clothes for every forest animal, I would. Squirrels are people too, Graham. But easy now, Acorn. Wouldn't want to wake the bull. I'm sorry, big buddy. Been a little on edge since Princess Madeline's trip back to Avalon. Now, I'm supposed to meet her there, but... I've just been so focused on setting up the shop. Maybe you should seek advice elsewhere. Well, I'm here, I guess. Might as well see what else that guide has to say. Hmm, let's see here. How about this? What type of squirrel... Ooh, special lady friend is right for you. Use these questions to help you find your perfect breed. <clears throat> Bride. <laughs> How do you imagine spending time with your new... Uh, squirrel. Love. Hmm. Challenging your pet with different tricks, playing fetch dog while high the acorn, chirping squirrel songs. So if I were a squirrel, what would I do? Squirrels don't have pets. Oh, challenging my squirrel pet with difficult tricks. Uh, what would I do? Playing fetch tug of war, chirping squirrel songs in the forest, climbing trees together. Um, I if I had a squirrel, honestly, I'd be doing this. Playing fetch, tug of war, and hide the acorn. Got it. Moving on. How energetic do you want your new squirrel <clears throat> special lady friend to be? All right. Now I'm answering these honestly. Uh, let's see. Calm, cool, and collected. A bolt of lightning. I want a, a nice, cool, confident squirrel. Calm, cool, and collected. Next up, which trait is critical for your new squirrel, uh, I mean girl, to have? Pick two. Hmm. Gets along well with children, affectionate, never leaves my side, no, protective. No incident in belly rubs for other. Okay, um. Loyal. Uh, uh, not loyal. Protective. And gets along well. I'll do, I'll do these two up here. I pick B. And, and. A. Gets along well with children and large families. Moving on, how important is it that your special lady can live among other special ladies? Oh Let's my. stop right there. This might not have been the best idea. No problem. I'll go ahead and tally the results. Tallying, tallying. Don't dally. <sighs> Spell, it's kicking in. It's pulling me back to the tower. The who is pulling the what? Graham, what have you gotten yourself into? Wait, no time to explain. Uh, oh, the blanket. Could I borrow that blanket? The tower gets really cold. I'm sure it does. Here, it's on the house. Yay, Thank free you. blanket. But uh, I didn't know the results. Uh-uh, no smoking in the shop. Don't you know how combustible silk is? Fine threads and fires don't mix. Ooh, the bull is in the pen. The is in the pen. <laughs> Calm down, oh, Acorn. I'm sorry. Your perfect match is a flying squirrel. Wherever you are. Flying squirrel. That sounds more like niece. I think. I don't know. Okay. So we got a blanket. So it sounds like I just need to do pretty much all these things. All right. But I think I'll save that for next time, my friends. So let's do, uh, let's see. We still have uh, Amaya and Bramble. And oddly, Maddie showed up as a possibility. This is getting really interesting. So there's not a lot of like, um, like puzzling and actiony stuff. This is more uh, story building, I think, which has me uh, rather excited. I'm very interested in what's going on. So we'll come back. We'll do that again next time. But for now, my name is Paul, and uh, as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.